I want to invite you to download our free app and find out for yourself why personal trainers are loving it. You can download it at the App Store or on Google Play. There are 365 workouts on this app, so that's one workout for every day of the year. Hello everyone, welcome back again to another great day here at Jimra. With me, as always, the great and talented. Hey guys, I'm Julian. Big, big guy. I mean, I feel so small every time I come in. But even though he's part owner, I'm still gonna kick his ass. I don't care. Ooh, I don't I like care. It. All right. Today we have super set for the chest and the back. It's a great way to work everything to give it the ultimate pump. You wanna work antagonist muscles as much as you can. This way, it'll really shock your body. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, of course. As always, we've got to warm up, okay? On the first one, just give me a little side bend. There you go. So now, relax what you want to focus on is stretching out from here all the way across. Get your body to really just reach across for two or three seconds at a time and then go to the other side. Focus on the stretches. You want a nice, easy flow, all right? Don't go too fast, don't go too slow. And we'll go two or three times each side, just to get the sides, the lats, the obliques, a little bit of the IT band on the side. Really nice. Let's go one more each side. So, you always need to drink water throughout the day. Okay? You need to keep yourself hydrated. And as we're working out as well, after like about two or three exercises, drink a little bit of water, just to wet the powder. Because as you're gonna be sweating, you need to replenish along the way, okay? Uh, the next one, just give me arms front, arms back, and then switch with side. There you go. So just right in front of your chest. Now start to control your breathing as well. Really focus on it, nice and steady. Nice, deep, deep breath. Nice. All right, next one. We'll warm up a little bit with a set of jumping jacks. Let's just go 25, okay? Right. So just nice and steady. Go for it. So now we're really getting the body into it. Getting the mind-body connection always. Nice and steady. Warming up the shoulders now, the legs, the core. Getting the metabolism a little bit faster. Really nice. Just a little bit. Don't jump too hard. Don't jump too little. Really, really good. All right, we got one more stretching. All I want this time is to go low, and then when you stretch, I want one low, one high, and then one low, one high. Just alternate like so. Just so like the, up. Yeah, just like that. So let's go 10 each side. And down cross, and then at the other side. That's one on one. Two, you can always bend down when you go down forward, stretch out your back a little bit. Three, you can stand straight up, it's totally up to you. Get a nice little warm up in your legs as well. I like how it feels when I bend down. It's a good stretch in the legs and the back. Really good. more so when you bend down you can also bend your butt down as well give them another one go ahead bend down now lower yourself even. there you go now get you getting your knees a little bit more stretched out your glutes a little bit more stretched out so with all of this today we have a set of dumbbells and of course you select it as you go on if it's too heavy lower it a little bit if it's too light pick it up a little bit you want a little bit of a little what a little challenge for you. Of course! If it's too easy, you're not gonna grow. If it's too hard, you're gonna die. Alright? All right. Speaking of dying, let's get into it. I need a death crawl, four steps forward, one push up, four steps back, and then come up and then go again. Okay? So of that, we're gonna do ten. Alright, so right there, hands down, walk four forward, one, two, three, four, give me a push up. So it's kind of like an inchworm, and then walk back, one, two, three, four, 
and again. So we're gonna go forward, forward, push up. So it's an inchworm, and four back. That's two, I'm gonna keep count, I'm watching you. Do it right. Three, good. On the push up, you guys wanna focus on your chest and stomach and thigh down first, not your chin. Body in perfect straight line. Breathe out when you push it up, that's four. Chest first, not chin. Five. When you've gone as far as you can go, guess what? Got a little done. further. Halfway there. Six. There you go. Excellent. Good focus. Seven. Last three. Nice. Eight, so you're getting your shoulders involved, your chest, your legs, your back, your core, everything. Nice. And those of you who are a little bit tired or you can't go for a full regular push-up, do it off your knees. Last one here, and come on up. Well done. It really puts the body under a lot of stress, tensed up at all times. Nice. That's what we want to do. Want to focus it and keep it tense all the time. Want to stagger your stance. Elbow on here for a really nice strong stance. Keep your body in a slight curvature here, not rounded. And give me a row, one arm row, okay? We'll go 15 one side, 15 on the other side. Okay, doesn't right. seem too hard. Nope. Good man is this one. Good, he's breathing out on the way up. You always wanna breathe out when you're contracting the muscles you're working on, which right now would be his rear delts, biceps, back, which is your rhomboids, a little bit of your lats. Excellent, keeping the body still. Five, 10 more. Good. And my elbow, yeah. should it be kept close to my body on these? Absolutely. That's one way to do it. There's another way which we'll do later is where you turn the elbows out a little bit higher up. So this is a closed row. We'll do a wide row, row later. Really nice, good balance. Even pressure the heel and toes on the forward foot. And the legs are pointing out on the other foot. 14, last one. Well done, well done. Way to keep the focus, good, steady pace. Switch legs right there. Switch legs. There you go. Press it on, abs tight, legs straight in the back. Good breathing. So the way we did the super set, of course, is we start on the chest. And then we hit the antagonist, which is the opposite muscle, which will be your back. That's exactly what we're doing here. So while you're resting your chest, which when you pull up, you can see your chest is getting stretched out, you're working on the back. So it's like while you're resting one, you're hitting the other. Ten, five more. Nice. One, last one. We're gonna keep the body in a straight line. Really, really good. All right, how was that? I thought you were gonna take it easy on me today. I think I got a little bit more than that. A little bit left of me. I thought I was gonna kill you today, remember? Yeah. Take it easy. So. What were you on? <laughs> All right, we're gonna lie you on your back this one. We're gonna do a pelvic thrust, hold the bridge, and we're gonna go one arm chest press. Okay? okay. So let's lie you down. Let's put your head here. Right, let's go with this arm. Good, push your butt up as high as you can, hold that, squeeze it. The other arm down by your side, just give me, press up, and bring it right back down. Lightly touch your elbow, and there you go, you try step. Breathe, two. So every time you press up, breathe out. Three, four, 15 each side, five, Eight, good, focus on that butt as well. You wanna keep it squeezed tight as you work on the chest. Last five, tight grip on that for me always, yeah. That way you work on your forearms as well. 
squeeze the chest and shoulders. Breathe out, abs always tight. And 15, good, lower the butt down, switch hands. Good, now the palm on your right hand, give it up. There you go, that way your shoulders are pushed back. You can have your palms down, but if you do, then you're rotating your shoulders inward. Here at Jimra, we like to be a little smarter than that. It feels a little bit uncomfortable at first for hitting the arms, have the palms facing up. But you're absolutely right. When you do that, it is harder because you can stabilize yourself much better if your palms is facing down. But this way, while you're working out, your shoulders are being pushed back, which is a perfect posture you want to be in. Instead of making it the easy way, which means now you're rounding off your shoulders as you're building up the muscles around it. You can call you Julian Hunchback at Gym Run, but we won't. 14, one more big guy. Nice. All right, all right. How was that little lying down rest? That was good, right? It's beautiful, I loved it. <laughs> wow, rest time's over. Give me a three point stance push up, okay? And then we're gonna go one arm row, renegade row for 15 reps, then switch side and give me the row again. Sure, seems right. easy. Oh, love it. <laughs> Let's do this, there you go. Do that once, body in a straight line. Perfect, one, two. Let's do this. Three. Good, lower your butt down a little bit if you can. That's it. Six. Keep your body in a straight line. Yeah, look straight down, not up with your head. You don't want to strain your neck. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good. You like your rest so far? Whew, it's a little more challenging on that one. Excellent. All right, three point stands, butt down. You should have one straight line from your shoulders down to your hips, to your knee, to your ankles. Good, that's it. Breathe on the way up, pull it as high up as you can. Breathe that. Six, seven. As you get tired, that butt will come up. Guess what you gotta do? Keep it down. Keep it down. 11, almost there. Push your butt down a little bit. 12, there you go. Work those abs, work wow. those legs. A lot harder like that. Good, and done. Woo! That's more All right. like it. <laughs> that was good. All right, so that was with your back, right? So now we hit the chest and shoulders. This time, you're gonna give me like a nose dive, dolphin dive down, up, and then push back. Okay. All right? You got 15 of those. So on your legs, on your hands, nose dive down, and then give me one shoulder press on it. Excellent, push, arch it up, and then come back, push your butt up. That's one, 15 of those, all the way down, nice and steady, good. Work those shoulders, work that chest. Two. Oh, good one, three. Push it up high, yeah, keep the pelvic down. Four. Five. Woo, six. Seven. Eight, really good. I can see the cuts in the shoulders and the arms. Chest is popping up. Nine. Ten. Good focus. Eleven. So for those of you who are struggling a little bit, you can do it off your knees a little bit more when you go down. Twelve. Those of you who want an even bigger challenge, do it off of one leg and keep the other leg up in the air. Thirteen. Last two. Excellent, one more. Steady as you go. Get that chest up. Nice. All right, all right. We know you're back. Wow, so, I did so, not like those. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's give them a little rest, okay? We'll give you a little rest too. 
Next one, all I want is a simple bend over. Give me an angle this way and roll up as high as you can. Okay? All right. 15. See, don't say I never give you anything. And breathe. Nice. One. Bring those elbows up and back as high up as you can. Two. Hold that body still. And should I be pausing at the top on these? Just a little bit. Just to make sure you have total control. Really feel the contraction at the top. Correct. And when you come down, obviously you are fully extending your arms so you get the maximum range of motion. Two more, head up, chest up, squeeze. One more, squeeze. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Now you're actually gonna hold on to those weights again, all right? Let me have you sitting this way on your butt. You're gonna do a V, and then you're gonna lean back. You're gonna give me alternating pack flies. Okay. okay. So this one will incorporate your core, obviously. You can make it harder by having your legs up in the air. You can make it easier by sitting a little bit more upright, but we want it perfect in the middle. So lean back slightly, head up, chest up, arms out in front, both of them together. Now hold that. Now we're gonna go one arm at a time. There, alternate. Wow, it's a lot of tension on the shoulders. Yes, one. So that's why if you can use a heavier weight in the beginning, switch to a lower one because there's a lot of work on it. That's two, we got 15 each side. <laughs> that was a joke, man. Right, three, I never joke about fitness, you know. <laughs> Four. Remember, you can make it harder by getting those legs up in the air. You can make it easier by sitting a little bit more upright. And if it's too hard holding the weights out that long, that far, bend your arms more. So that as you're doing it, the weights are closer, there you go, to your body. Because it takes its toll, big time. Yeah, your abs and back should always be engaged with this. Ten, five more each side. Good, burn it. Squeeze that chest and shoulders. Two, almost done. That's it. Three. Four, all you got. All you got. Five, okay. Last one. Okay. Oh. Okay, I did promise you that we're gonna do a difference between the inside and the outside row. Okay? That's right. So we're gonna bend forward, rest the chest and shoulders on the front, and instead of rolling right by your side like this, we're gonna go outside this way. Okay? 15 reps, bend over, wide row. All the way up, all the way down. All right, piece of cake. Just glad those last ones are over with. Good. Feel different muscles engage. Three. Very nice. That's right. It's more on the upper part now. Good. Yeah. Keep that head straight in line. Get those elbows up high. Let's go. Last one here. Yikes. Woo! Okay. <laughs> You're gonna stand there, face down this way for me. We're gonna do an inchworm, but keeping the butt up, we're gonna do a shoulder press, inchworm back, grab the weights, lateral raise. Alright? Then go down, put them down, inchworm forward, shoulder press, inchworm back, pick them up, lateral raise. 15 reps. You the man. Really trying to set my shoulders on fire. If they are not already, yes. And pick those up, lateral raise. One. Now 
Keep the butt up in the air. Just one, two, right there. Give me a shoulder press, head down. There you go. That works the shoulders even more. Two, for those of you who are having a really hard time with the shoulders or the push-up or the shoulder press, you can also do a push-up on this instead. Nice. Very, very good. Focus on, keep it moving. Even though you're struggling, do the best that you can. It is good to struggle. You want to struggle. You want to grow. You want to get stronger. You gotta love the struggle. Excellent. Good. See the shoulders and the arms starting to shake a little bit. That's excellent. That's a way to push hard. Keep your form, keep everything nice and steady. Go, you got five more, big guy. Yeah, breathe out. One. Give me all you got. Let's go, big J. Good. See those muscles all tremble. Two more. Two more. Believe me, I'm counting down. Really nice, buddy. Last one. You got this. Keep your butt up in the air. Head down. Push. Woo! And lateral. Nice, I'll take those. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving me those. <laughs> All right, tell you what, you get to lie down right now. Love I need it. for you to face down, head there, stomach here, legs down this way. Sure. Yep, face down. Face down, face down. That would be facing up. <laughs> face down. That's what happens when you get less oxygen and less oxygen into the brain. Fatigued. All right, hands here. You are going to give me a hyper extension on the upper body, lift it up as high up as you can. Now twist, twist. Yeah, touch the elbow into the ground on one side and then back to the other side. So up, that's two. Up, that's three. Good, keep the body still on the lower, that's four. Twist that body, five, six. Try to keep the legs still, seven. Eight, for this one we'll do 10 and 10. That's nine, keep the legs down. 10, that's halfway. Lift it up high and twist. This is a lot on the lower back, a lot on the upper back, the shoulders. 14, 15, when you twist, try to get the other elbow up to the sky. 16, four more. Two more. Legs down. Last one. All right. All right. You like your rest? I did. You know what? I felt some type of restriction in my mobility when I tried to turn my back. You know why? Tight. Yeah. You're tight. tight. And it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> All right. Next one. A little balance. One leg. Give me a low to high peck fly. All right. We have one leg up for 10. Switch leg for 10. You cool? Seems easy, I got it. All right. Good, focus on squeezing your chest. Open up and squeeze. Abs always tight, I need to see those cuts, tense them up. You breathe with the lungs in your chest, not your stomach. So keep your abs tight. Do not push them out when you breathe. Good, focus on the balance. That's six, good. Keep those weights tightly gripped in your hands. So this is chest, upper chest, shoulders, and good balance on the core right there. Last one. Very, very nice. Good. Switch. So as you're standing on one leg, you're working on the intrinsic muscles at the joint, which would be your ankle, your knee, and your hip. So you're getting those little guys that stabilize you much better. So when you walk and you trip or you do something, those guys are strongest first. 
so they really help you out. Very nice. For those of you who want to make it a little bit more challenging, the leg that's up, you can always strain up that leg straight out front and hold it up high. To make it a little bit easier, you can always tap that foot, the toes down onto the ground. Well, well done. Yeah. Good? Yeah, I got a little itch on my nose. <laughs> We're slowly going down into it. Speaking of which, I need to bend over again. This time, both arms up on the row, close, and then one, one. Then both up, one, one. Okay? Alternating each time. Exactly. Or keep it on the same side, it's up to you. Turn this way. Good, chest up, head up, row, one, one. Pick it up, left side. Good, that's four, five. We'll go total of 20, 10 count to each side. Six, or three. Good, eight, we're to keep that lower back curve a little bit, not round it. Halfway there, 10. Bring your head up just a little bit. Yeah, not too much. That's it, hold it up there, squeeze that back. 12, pull up high. Hit those triceps when you're fully extending those arms. Pull it up. Let's go four more. Pull it up. Let's go two more. Nicely done. Very good. It's cake. Right? Well, that's easy because the next one is kind of a slap and slap. <laughs> All right, put the weight down on the side. I need for you to do a push up but with like a little twist every time you go down. Okay? All right. So we're going to go a total of 20, 10, and 10. Okay, so toes right there. Lightly bend your knees. Good. So you're going to twist your body to one side, the lower. Good, and then give me a push-up. So there's more pressure on one side of the shoulder and chest. That's one and one. Very, very nice. That's two and two. So for those of you who want to make it easier, bend your knees more. Three, the more you bend your knees, the less weight it is on your shoulders. Four, the easier it will be. Five, and for those of you who want to make this one, which is already challenging enough, even harder, do it off of one leg and have the other one in the air and do for five, five each side. That's seven each side. Good twist, push. That's a killer. That is a killer. Eight. It's kind of like a spider push up, but with a twist. That's nine and nine, one each side. Whoa. Woo! All right, let's rest those shoulders up a little bit. With the weight you can hold on one or two, it's up to you. We're gonna go single leg, good morning. Okay? All right. Face on that way, or you can face that way. On one leg, we're gonna go 15 reps. Since it's a little bit lighter, it's gonna work on your lower back, your hamstrings, your glutes. And should my weight be in my opposite arm? Well, we're gonna hold both of them behind right your head. Ah. Yeah, so the question and answer, behind your head. <laughs> there you go. Feel the hamstring stretch. Breathe out, bring it up. Good focus, one. Excellent, good focus. Three, this is sort of like a recovery one. It works really well on the calves, the hamstring, the glutes, the lower back, and a little bit of the upper back as well. You can bend the legs a little bit as you go up and down, or you can try to keep it locked straight to work more of the hamstrings and lower back. The more you round off and bend your lower back, the more you work it, so the weight should not be too heavy. If you keep your back curved as you go up and down, you focus more on the hamstrings and your glutes. Five more, big guy. A lot of balance involved with this one. It's all balancing. And the lower back and the hands. <sighs> nice. 
Nicely done. It's real good. So you're hitting the back, but you're getting a nice little rest because you're focusing on the balance. So it's not too much weight. It's more of a focused balance work. Good, breathe out on the way up. Let me hear it. Abs tight always. Tense it up. Now to make this a little bit more challenging, as you see, as Julian's bending forward, his leg is going back to help counterweight. Try to have that other leg that's in the air balance right next to the leg that you're standing on so that it doesn't go back at all. So now, of course, there's no counterweight, so you have to work on your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back much more. Nice. Breathe out on the way up, abs tight. Really good form, really steady. Five more, please. Good, keep those abs tight. You also wanna focus on grabbing the ground with your toes. So you're always working on the, the bottom of your foot too, the arc. So the whole plantar fasciitis thing is either eliminated or it's prevented. But you're always working on that. Last one, last one, bring it up. Good balance. All right, let's get you back on the mat. I need your head here, on your back, feet right there, bent. On my back. Yes, please. God, now, earlier nice. we did the pelvic thrust holding it, one arm, chest press. Now we're gonna do the same thing, pelvic thrust up, but we're going to do pec fly, okay? Right. All right, all right, so relax your head down. Push your butt up as high as you can so you're working on that lower back, the glutes and the hamstrings. Arms up in front like you're hugging a big tree. Keep the elbows fixed. Bring it out. Feel that stretch in your chest and shoulders. Tight grip on the weight always. And then from there, focus on the chest and shoulders, bringing it in. Keep your butt up though. Don't drop it down. And two. We got 15 reps. Three. Good breathing. Six, good. Focus on that chest. Keep the butt up high. Squeeze arms in. When you bring the weights in, if you want to touch the weight together, that's fine. Lightly do. Because sometimes you bring it up and you miss the weights and all of a sudden the dumbbells are hitting your fingers. That's not good. Make sure you bring the weight up above your chest, not your face. Hit the chest. Nice, you got two more. One more. Wow, good, 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 good. Oh. <laughs> wow, I love it. Right, I'm seeing a lot of sweat on this mat. What's up? You alright? Sweating, I love it. Good. We're gonna do the lats next now. Now, of course, with lat pull down, you gotta do a pull up or something this way. So you can modify that by bending down as much as you can to do like an invert, and then pull your elbows up as high as you can. Okay, so we're doing like a lat pull down, but we're doing an invert, and then pull up as high as you can for 15 minutes. Okay. All right. Good, head down, down low, 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 good. Now pull your elbows up to the sky. That's a lat pull down, but invert it. Three, two, good. Keep the head down, butt up high. Four, there you go, come on now. Five, work on those lats. Nine, that's really good. Come on, pull it up. Ten, good pause as well, good breathing. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Really well done. Really nice. All right, come up slow because there's a lot of blood draining into your head. You all right? Yeah, it's a really cool way to vary the traditional lap pull down. Thank like you. It. Thank you. 
All right, on your knees, face the camera, please. Next, we're gonna work on the shoulders and the back, a little bit of chest. So you're gonna do like a peck fly, but hold it this way. Okay. All right, so out as wide as you can and then squeeze in toward the front. All the while showing me those guns right there and breathe in, try to connect, one, and out. Good, 15 of those, two, three. Balancing on your knees like that makes your core work in the different way. So if you're standing up, you can do the exact same thing and that would be an easier way to do it. This is a lot of shoulders right here and we're squeezing in the front for the chest. We're gonna go 15 reps. This is coming up to number 10, last five. That was a little bit of an easier one before the last one, which is will be the hardest one. The last one. But the last one, then you gotta take a couple of minutes rest, a little water, a little stretch, and then you gotta do the whole routine again, one yeah, more time. Right. All right, so here we go. Let's lie you down, face down. Let's go for a swim. <laughs> We're gonna go 15 each side. So the legs, I need to kick them back and forth, back and forth, up and down, and I need a stroke with the upper body. Okay, All right. so lift it up and swim. One, one, good. We got 15 each side, two, two. You wanna squeeze all of this as high up as you can. Three, four, Nine, ten, let's go. Good. Let's go one more each side. And done. You win. Ah. Oh. Made it through it. Nice. All right, so now remember, you take a couple minutes off, take a little water, stretch it out a little bit, and then you gotta do one more round. That should be about an hour's worth of the workout, okay? If you come back to this point again after all of that, now it's time to cool down, it's time to stretch out. You ready? Ready. All right, hold your hands up like this, elbows to the elbow, and you're gonna try to bend from one side, push the hip over toward me, push this part, good. And then the other side, we'll go three count each side. Nice, we'll go three of that. One, two, three. Get that stretch in your lap, your triceps. And one more each side. Great, go ahead, stand here. We're gonna face that way. You're gonna grab your hands together behind you like this. All right, you're gonna bend forward and raise that up as high up as you can, raise it up. Ooh, that doesn't go too far. <laughs> all right, and then up again. All the way back up. Stand up, stand up. That's one, we'll go five counts. So you wanna bend down and raise it up as high as you can over your head. Good stretch. That's two, nice and steady. Really tight on this particular one. It's something I need to work work on. True. That's why we stretch out before and afterward. We gotta warm it up and then we gotta pull it down. Nice. Stand there. All I want is to squat down and as you come up, reach up and stretch out. All right. We got five of those. So now we're getting a little bit of the legs to stretch, the shoulders, the lats, obliques. One. Breathe on the way up. Reach up high. Two. Three, four, five, good, very nice. All right, same stance, 
So now all I want you to do is bend to one side, reach his hand down, and reach his arm way across. We'll go back and forth again this time. Nice, that's it. Really stretch it out to the side. Breathe, relax. And then come back to the other side now. Reach. We'll go three each side. Just nice and steady, about three seconds worth of stretch. You can always stretch longer, that's fine. I really enjoy stretching at the end of the workouts. Why is that? Once the body is warm, I feel that I can relax a lot easier into the stretch. True, true. Good, really good. So now, same thing. Now we're gonna stretch the hamstrings, the calf, the butt, the lower back, okay? So legs part again. So this time we'll go to the, bend down to the right leg and just try to stretch it out. Hold it for about three seconds. Don't overdo it, nice and steady. Good, then to the center. Hold it for about three seconds. Now to the left. Hold it for about three. Come up, open up your arms into a T. Open up that chest. That's one, we're gonna go two more. To the right, don't overstretch. You just want it to nice and good feeling on the stretch. Come up into a T, really nice. One more, get that back, get the hip, get the hamstring, get the calves, lower back, glutes, everything. How was that? It was great. So you got weights right behind you right there. Thank you so much, everybody. We had such a great time here. He did amazing, and I know you did as well. Push hard every time, struggle a little bit, but stay within that confine of struggling a little bit and not too much, and never make it easy, okay? Always challenge yourself, and as always, come back to us again and again. We have thousands of them. And as always, Julian, please take us out. Thanks for working out with us. Really enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.